Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is a video of some recent, um, I don't know, self-pity shopping I did, uh, mostly online. And then I did do a quick shopping trip to my quote-unquote local scrapbook store in Branson called Scrapbook Forever. Um, I did do two orders from my favorite things and used up some coupons and stuff. This is the Hot Foil Octagon Frames Dynamics. It is hot foil for um, like letterpress. I haven't used it yet for the letterpress technique. I'll sh at the end of this clip, it will show the uh, how it works with dark cardstock. I need to get some different colored foil to the, I don't know, so it'll show up better on white cardstock. And I also got cement gray cardstock from my favorite things in this order. Like I said, I just used up some coupons I had and stuff like that. And this is what it looks like on dark cardstock. I did recently see a tip to add an extra piece of cardstock when you're using colored cardstock to make it show up better. And this, I used a gift card I had for Lindy's um, gang that I had recently won on social media. And this is what I got. So I ordered some more shimmer powders and I forgot the name of them. But I also decided to try their um, embossing powders. I got black and white because I was kind of running low on those in my current stash. And these, I feel like these are pretty colors that I would use. And they're similar yet different than the colors I already had from the shimmer powders. Um, but I think they're really pretty. It's called Summer Break. Is that what that collection is called? And this was a freebie they gave me. This is embossing powder, that teal embossing powder. It's really pretty. I don't tend to usually have colored embossing powders like that. So I'm very excited to try that one out. Um, I did actually use the black in the card, the um, card that I show later on in this video, the uh, disco ball card. Here is the second order that I got from my favorite things. This one has a few more items in it. It has um, Birdie Brown Greetings Galore stamp set is what you're seeing right now. Um, I have, feel like it has a lot of sentiments that'll just be good for to add to my collection. And I like that they're big and bold. And this is SY butterflies and bloom stamp set. I do love butterflies, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use that yet. I might do it as a giveaway because I don't know if I'll use it, but we'll try it. And there's my jelly bean, but the, the sentiment or the stamp set's pretty cute. And I also got black licorice cardstock and I got uh, craft colored cardstock as well in this um, order. I just always try to stock up on the basic colors of cardstock because, you know, those are the ones that I go through the most, black and craft and gray. All right, and I also ordered from Tailored Expressions, again, using some uh, some loyalty points and stuff like that that I had. And here's me struggling to open the really cute box. This actually came in before Valentine's Day, and when my son saw the tape on it, he's like, I want to turn that into my Valentine's box for school. And he did. We wrapped it in white paper and colored it, but it was his Valentine's box, so we repurposed it. All right, so the things I got from Tailored Expressions, this is the Take a Number embossing folder. I got a dropper bottle so I can use it for my watercolors, and I got some Olo markers. The colors that I got were Periwinkle, Hot Pink, Daffodil, and Buttercup. And my little freebie, which you see me getting after I get all the paperwork here, um, I, oh yeah, I got a stack of cardstock too. This is the cardstock sampler from Tailored Expressions. I almost forgot about that one. Um, it's a bunch of bright colors. I think it's two sheets of each of their bright colors. So I like that because I haven't tried their cardstock before, but I've seen lots of people say good things about it. So I thought that I would give it a try. All right, so here's the freebie that they give me this month. It is a cute little snowflake with a frame around it and kind of like a postage border. I'm going to check it out and see if it'll work with the postage stamp punch that I have from back in the day. All right, and then this is my next order. This is from Ink Road Stamps. Um, this one, I actually did a whole video on the card that I made with this stamp set, but I did as immediately as soon as I got it. Um, it is it's called Disco Ball. It's from Ink Road Stamps. And Lara, the creator of Ink Road Stamps, is actually donating the proceeds from this um, stamp set to local domestic violence assistance programs. So that's like a program that's near and dear to my heart. So 
of course I had ordered immediately when I saw she was doing a creation for this one. And disco balls have been like my thing lately for some reason. So here's the card that I made and I will leave a link to the video that I made for when I did this whole card in the up above so you can watch the video if you'd like. And these pictures just honestly don't do it justice. It's amazing. So go check it out. And last but not least, I got to go to my local-ish, not really local, but it's in Branson, Missouri. It's called Scrapbooks Forever. I know I've featured it in previous haul videos because I pretty much have told my husband that we have to go there every time we go to Branson. Um, I ended up getting some Gold Nouveau drops because I didn't have any Gold Nouveau drops and I just wanted to see how they worked. This little cute um, Spellbinders um, die set was not on my list, but I saw it and it was really cute. And the little eyeballs are so cute. The eyeballs are really cute and they're not really like googly eyes they're more it's it says they're enamel eyeballs but they're really cute they'll work good great for those little monsters and any little cute kid birthday cards that i make because i do have two little kids of my own and they're always getting invited to birthday parties so that die set is really cool i like it it has the ability to have jiggly legs on the monsters which kids love interactive cards and then this these are precision um tip reverse tweezers which i thought were really awesome because the ones i have are not very sharp so I think these will be awesome for picking up teeny tiny things, which is what I use the precision tweezers or the tweezers for. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it when you like and subscribe and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see going forward. And here's our five seconds of Sonic. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.